Good evening, hello, and welcome back to RimWorld. I am Modi Operandus. Welcome to Alpha 6 of RimWorld. This has a lot of new features. The Alpha just came out today. I can't wait to try it out. There's a lot of cool things to see. Last time our colony was destroyed by a combination of starvation and a raid. So we're going to be starting a brand new colony right now. One of the things you'll notice very different about the very first screen here is that the create world option is at the very top here. No longer is a new colony. You can also create a world. And what the world lets you do is have multiple colonies within a single planet, basically. Uh, so we're going to create a brand new world here. I'm just going to do random seeds for a bit here and see what we like. Uh, basically, you can choose the size of your planet. Um, you can make it as big or as small as you want. 150 by 112 is as small as you can go or 400 by 300. And basically, each of these little units, I think, is a different map. So you can have uh, tons of, of maps in this one. I don't want to do the math on that, but it's 12 times 12,000 different, different uh, colonies in that single map. Pretty cool. Anyways, we'll go SR2F as our initial seed here, random seed. We'll see what this generates, and we'll talk a little bit about that. Okay, so this is kind of a cool pla it's kind of cool planet. Uh, it's Ardhara Ak Akrik, Arkik, uh, Arik, I, I guess. Uh, basically, what this is, it's a bunch of different biomes that you'll get to play in. So now there's there's more than just the arid biome you you're used to seeing inside of the map here. Uh, there's lots of different ones. Not all of them are implemented yet. But uh, so basically what you're seeing here is this is like a forest biome, tropical rainforest biome, which is not implemented yet. But uh, certain things are, for instance, a temperate forest is implemented. There is tundra, which doesn't actually work yet. Uh, there is a uh, boreal forest, which also is not implemented. And there's the new desert biome, which I'm guessing has less resources, kind of like less uh, trees and that kind of thing to use. No vegetables growing uh, too much anyways. There's also the arid shrubland, which is kind of pretty much what you've been seeing before, I think, in RimWorld. And uh, also just water. How about how about lakes and stuff? We don't see too many lakes and that kind of thing inside of RimWorld. So it's kind of cool that it's here. So basically, there's a couple different modes for this thing. You can see the elevation of the areas. You can see uh, you can see more information from there. You can see rainfall, so you can see which ones are drier than others. And you can also see uh, the temperature, so you can see which ones are hotter than others. We're just going to probably go with just a regular temperate biome here, for instance, uh, to start out here. So let's go save and finish. And now we can create our new colony inside of that world we just created. So. The other change in Alpha 6, one of the other many changes in Alpha 6 anyways, is the change to how the storytellers work. They still kind of work the same way, where Sandra is a progressively increasing curve of difficulty, Phoebe is uh, basically gives you lots of time between disasters, and random, Randy Random is just, diff just different. He just does different things constantly, random events, doesn't care. Uh, so we're going to go Cassandra Classic because I like how it progressively gets harder, and now you can actually choose a difficulty within each of the storytellers. So that's a kind of a cool idea. You can make it as hard and challenging as you want it to. You can go extreme challenge, which basically gives you 160% as large in challenge mode. So that's telling you that the, the mobs and that kind of thing of raiders and that kind of thing are going to be 160% bigger or 160% of the challenge mode. Challenge mode is 100%. So we're going to go with challenge mode just because that's what we're expecting to deal with, I'm guessing. Uh, it'll still be more difficult but it won't be uh, this casual or rough or anything like that. The rough casual is only 25% as large as in challenge mode and rough is 60% as, as large as in challenge mode. So basically the threats that they send are not quite as large, but we'll go with Cassandra classic. We'll go challenge mode. And uh, one thing I should point out that's really interesting. You can go Phoebe base builder and do a long time between disasters. So you can build your colony, but you can also do extreme challenge. So there's gonna be a long time between disasters, but when disasters strike, they're going to be huge. 160% as large as in challenge mode. So that's kind of interesting. New ways to play it, new combinations to do. You can kind of craft your own game now. Uh, so let's go next year. We'll do Cassandra Classic on challenge mode and see what happens. So we'll go to, is this where we just were? Yeah, Adhara, Akrik, uh, Arkik, whatever. We'll, we'll select that one. Now we have to choose a landing point for our colony. Uh, let's see, let's take a look at the, the map here for elevation. And we want to go someplace with a little bit of mountains, but not too much. Is there any place? Oh, there is this place over here with water on one side and mountains on the other. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, that might be kind of cool. What, what, what biome is that in? It was in a rainforest biome, which isn't implemented yet. So I'm thinking that the tropical rainforest is going to be the no same as the forest for now. But in the future, we could see a lot more. Let's go elevation one more time. Look over in the side of the map. That might work over here. I want to stick to the, I want to stick to the uh, the temperate the temperate biome for now, in case they do implement this. I don't have to start a brand new world. That'd be kind of amazing. So let's go with like right here, large hills terrain. Temperate forest, I kind of like it. So we'll go with that one. You can still do the map size however you want it to be. Do a Luden, Luden Crocious uh, map size if you prefer, but I'm just going to do medium to keep our game running nice and smoothly. And we're going to head down to that site. So let's take a look at our colonists here. We have Ernest the Chef, Suzoka, uh, Zoka maybe? 
he was a mercenary recruit and then a mercenary chef. Fucking dirty. So he didn't want to get his hands dirty. He still wanted to be a mercenary, but he's a, a chef. He's incapable of plant work. That's interesting. He won't be able to plant our things for us, and he probably can't cut them either. But uh, other than that, he's pretty good. He's got shooting of 10, which is pretty amazing. So that's we're going to definitely stick with this guy. I kind of like the combination there. Uh, and the traits. There's traits implemented that actually do things now. So Chef is mentally tough and won't back down under stresses that would crack most people. So his me mental break threshold is minus five. That means he has a lower mental break threshold. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And fast walker means he has move speed is plus 16%. So actually these traits do matter now. It's very, very important. Different, different change. I really enjoyed that. Uh, let's see, Freya the scientist. Let's take a look at Freya here. Freya the, Freya the, th the fertile. Uh, she was a scout and then a Navy scientist. Incapable of being intellectual or artistic, so she can't do research, she can't do art, but aside from that, she's going to be useful. I think Mercenary can do research, so he can research for us at least. So that'll be okay. Shooting is pretty high, and a jogger, meaning we got move speed plus 32%. That's pretty amazing. Moves with a sense of urgency, so much that others are often failed to keep up. That's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to have a nice fast crew here. Kind of like that a lot. And then we got Welch the Herbalist. Welch is a cave world tunneler, then an herbalist incapable of crafting or being intellectual. So we only have one researcher. That's kind of unfortunate. He's got a three. So he's gonna have to do all of our researching, unfortunately, and then do all of our shooting and cooking. We'll have to make, we could be able to probably do that pretty easily though, because that is priority on cooking to high, research to second, and then we'll do them on uh, like defense and that kind of thing when we need it. Uh, oh, crafting is 11 too, man. He's got a lot of good traits here. Okay, so let's go back to Welch though. This is what we're talking about right now. Uh, neurotic. Welch likes to have things squared away. He will work harder than most to attain this state of affairs, but his nerves can get the better of him. So he's work speed plus 15%. Mental break threshold is six. So he's going to have a higher mental break threshold. So he's going to be uh, he's going to be on the verge a lot of the time, I'm guessing. And we have a psychopath. Psychopath has no empathy. The suffering of others does not bother him at all. He doesn't mind if others are butchered, left be here, unburied, imprisoned, sold to slavery, unless it affects him. So he's neurotic, but he doesn't care if his comrades die. That's kind of interesting. I like that. I think it'll be a kind of interesting playthrough. So we got Welch, the psychopath, neurotic, uh, herbalist, kind of a mad scientist, kind of, uh, but he can't research anything. He's just kind of a mad uh, herbalist. I kind of picture him as kind of a hippie, maybe. I don't know, like a like a mean hippie. I don't know if that's an actual thing. Uh, mercenary, he's like the, the, gr the gruff chef on the crew. He's a good shooter, good at cooking. Fast, fast, uh, fast walker and steadfast, kind of cool. And then Freya the scientist. Scientist is incapable of being intellectual, so she must have had some type of head injury at some point that stopped her from being uh, a very good scientist because a scientist would have to be a little bit intellectual, I would imagine, but she's just not that kind of scientist, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but Freya the scientist, incapable of being intellectual. Let's go with it. Let's land on our brand new colony here and see how it goes. All right, the three of you awaken in your crypto sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world as pieces of the starship or shredded starship fall around you. You make plans to survive. Okay, so here we come. Let's have at it. And let's look around here first of all. Let's pause the game here quick and we'll take a look around. Okay, so there's a structure right here, an internal area we could actually commandeer. There's a building over here that's half done. Oh, there's a, oh, that's not a bad spot. There's a internal uh, geyser in there. That might be cool. Uh, anything else neat? There's another geyser over here. Look over this way. Another geyser over here. Just so we can think about power and that kind of thing. Now, this is a nice area because it has a wall right here already. You kind of, we can make some walls around this area and then dig into the mountain here. There's some metal in this mountain here near the lake. Oh, look at all this. We have to, might have to use this structure right here as storage because our stuff is already there. Uh, that might not be a bad idea. So why don't we put our first base like right in this area here and we'll build it up from here, I think. It's pretty close to the crash landing zone. So we should be able to gather our stuff and we might want to make use of the structure right here eventually too. Uh, there is water, shallow water. We can walk through it. We can't walk through this deep water at all. So it's kind of just like mountain, but we can't use it for anything. Um, yeah, this might work. This might work nicely. This might be a nice place eventually. So, and we also have the option if we build it up here, we have a geyser pretty close to us. So we can take advantage of that too. All right, so let's build a uh, zone for hauling things right now. We'll build a stockpile. Put it like right. I'll put it like right here. Make it nice and big here, so we have room for everything we want. And we'll set up the storage on that to be low for not corpses, but just chunks, apparel, weapons, items, pretty much everything for right now. And uh, we'll get people moving stuff over there. So let's get them hauling some stuff here. 
Let's uncheck all this stuff here. Let's uncheck this stuff here. And they'll start hauling. Next, we'll need rooms and that kind of thing. Gotta do our basic first day colony stuff. Oh, we should probably set up guns for everyone. Now, who can't shoot? Anybody can't shoot? Uh, his shooting's a 10, so we should give him the best gun, which would be the Lee Enfield. Enfield? We have it still. Let's see. Here it is. So, Chef, pick this up, please. And... Freya, let's see what she can do. Can not can shoot with a six, that's pretty good. We'll get you a pistol, and Welch, can you fire? Uh, you can, your shooting's a one, but that's not too bad. Let's, let's get you guys picking up guns here. Grab a gun, and then get to work. All right, so let's grab the rest of this stuff here. Tell them to move along with that. And I saw these things over here. Now we have to get them to mine a way into that. So maybe we'll just keep this stuff here on reserve. Does it spoil? It spoils in 4,000 days. So maybe we can just hold that as reserve for now, and we'll uh, worry about it later. Uh, next we need to think about some, uh, buildings. Now, did we get any wood from this? Oh, we did. There's some over here. So they'll gather that up. We can start making some beds and such. There's some metal over here. We'll want them to grab. Make sure they grab that. Anything else we need? I think that should be pretty good for now. Uh, yeah, that should be pretty good for now. We got a little bit of food. Let's see. How many meals do we grab there? We have 10 meals. It'll get us by, oh, maybe a day or two. So we'll have to get a growing zone built, we have to get rooms built, and we get uh, beds for everyone. So that's going to be the goals for today here. Let's set up a growing zone here, we'll set it up. Uh, there's there's a bunch of rocks in the way here, it's the only problem with this spot here. So we'll go a growing zone like right here. We'll make a nice long narrow one like that. And then we'll need a first building. And if we, we want to use this as part of our building, we could actually extend off of that. So let's use this as part of our building, and we'll go structure. We'll use this for one of our oh, not enough stored oh well uh let's build our structure off of this somehow they're gathering it up it says not enough stored but we'll get there so let's go like this oh that's doors i don't want to do that cancel that we want wood walls and we'll go wood walls off of here and then we'll set up a uh door here and then we'll have them mine out this room right here and that way we can have access to that room as well, and it'll all be part of the plan. And then we'll set up these to be collected. And then we'll set up storage in here as well. We'll zone this for a stockpile right here, and we'll say that food should go in here. And we'll say storage, we'll do food only. We'll allow rotten, we won't allow corpses, we won't allow apparel. Just uh, foods. There we go. So just foods will go in there, and it'll be a higher priority. We'll go preferred on that, and then only only food will get stored in there. Sounds pretty good. We'll have to build up this way, I'm thinking, right now. So we'll have our first building here built soon. Freya's already hauling over the wood. We got Welch. And and uh, Freya. And Chef. All right, let's take a look at our overview here. Make sure everyone's set up properly. Chef is on cooking, obviously. That's good. Uh, Welch is on doctoring. He's a seven. Everyone else is a three. Three, I guess if, as long as Welch doesn't get hurt, we'll be okay there. Uh, patient. I don't know what patient it means. Uh, let's take a look here. Patient. Relative skills is none. We got a three out of it. I'm guessing it's not implemented yet. Patients go to the medical bed if they need to be received treatment. So as long as they're set to patient, they'll go to the medical bed. Oh, I see. So if we turn somebody off, they won't seek treatment, I'm guessing. So we'll want to leave that on for now. Um, and then hunting is good. Constructing is good. Growing, mining, plant cutting. We have somebody on everything, I think. Yes, and everyone's at a priority for cleaning, which is important. And pretty good. So let's get everyone working again here. And Freya is going to have this whole room built here soon. I did say chunks are okay in this room, right? Yes, chunks, but not corpses. That's just fine. Once we get some corpses, we'll figure out the reason for them. Now we can actually set this up for animal corpses in here. That might be a, be a bad idea. If this is going to be like our kitchen area eventually... Let's go animal corpses are allowed in there and then uh, yeah, we can have our animals stored and we can put this into a kitchen eventually instead of using it as a, a multiple bedroom for right now. For right now, we'll have to start with a single room though because we're not going to be able to build on multiple rooms today. But I think very soon we should be able to because we have lots of trees to cut down around here and uh, we'll have plenty of wood in the, in the near future, I think. Lots of trees. This is a nice cool forest. Lots of trees to cut down. Uh, oh, there's some more uh, meals up here. Let's grab those for sure. Bring those to the area. Oh, there's deer. I think this is newly implemented. I never noticed deer before in the game. Maybe deer have replaced the muffalo, or maybe it's a biome specific thing. I'm not sure, but deer are uh, a thing here now. That's kind of cool. And of course, squirrels and boom rats are still here, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, you're never gonna get rid of the boom rats. 
That's kind of cool. I kind of I kind of don't like that it's just deer. It's kind of a generic thing. I kind of liked how it was Muffalo before. Uh, I hope I really hope Muffalo are still in the game. That was a really cool thing. That was kind of like a lore centric thing that wasn't uh, just a standard stuff like squirrels. I mean, squirrels were not very fun, and um, you know, Muffalo were way cooler than uh, just deer would be. Anyways, that's my two cents. So let's get uh, let's get this sped along here. We're running out of time in the day, and we need to get everyone uh, beds here still too. So let's actually build some beds here 20 40 60 get them all nice and neat right there and we'll put in a new spot here eventually too so let's we'll have to put in some food and stuff into here we'll get power set up the next day once everybody gets their beds they should hop into bed oh you know what you didn't do you didn't finish the last person's bed and now she doesn't know how to do it oh constructing let's see if chef chef can do it chef didn't make a bed for himself he's he's too busy actually working Everyone else makes a bed for themselves, but he's still hauling for the day. Hopefully there's enough wood for him to make a bed for himself. All right, good. Chef, Chef will be on it, making his own bed. Very, very rude, you guys. Not too pleased with Freya and Welch here right now. They should have made a bed for Chef. Oh, well. That's all right. We'll, be, we'll make die. We have 27 meals. So that'll last us a good, good long while, I think. Uh, we don't have to worry about food too much just now. We have 296 metal. And a bunch of silver to trade. Pretty cool. And let's speed through the night now. Our first day is complete on our brand new colony. Let's do one more here and see what we can do the next day. So the first thing we'll need to do is probably think about getting some food. Uh, who's on planting? Anybody? Planting. Planting. Growing is uh, Welch. And he's not got anything else to do right now, so he should be taking care of that right now. Awesome. So Welch is going to start planting stuff for us. And uh, in the meantime, I probably will have... Orders for uh, chopping wood, so we can move these trees out of here. Um, harvest food, harvest that food right there, and uh, can't can't get that quite yet. But uh, we need a table and stuff. We also need to put in. Oh, we have a bunch of trees growing inside of our building here still. So we'll need to put in some. Uh, we can chop down these trees here. Nope, can't do it. But we can put down a floor, I think, at least. So let's put down wooden floor, warm and homey. Sure, let's do it. Put it down like that. And let's do orders to harvest the stuff in here, anything we can. Cool, we'll get some more food from that right away. These are not stacking up just yet because we haven't had anybody mine the hole in there just yet. Anybody on mining? Welch is on mining, that's fine. He'll plant and then he'll go mine. Oh, he's taking over constructing because that's the next thing on his priority. And then we got to make it a priority to haul this stuff away out of here so nobody gets upset about that. And Freya, can you clean the rock rubble, please? Thank you. Pretty good. All right, so we'll make sure somebody prioritizes cleaning that stuff out, hopefully soon. Let's see. Let's see what comes next here. Uh, plant cutting, Freya. Uh, Welsh can plant, but he can't. Oh, he can. He can cut. Okay, I'm gonna put him on planting and cutting. Uh, I don't think it makes a difference. They're both the same skill either way. Same with that. Okay, cool. So Chef can't do anything with food, any plant-related activities, but he can do constructing. So we'll put him on constructing. Take you guys off of constructing. Because he'll be casting and growing for right now. We'll put him on mining as well. He's got a nine in mining though. Interesting. So maybe we'll keep it like how that is, because I like I like that on mining. Uh Warden. Who should be warden here? I guess Freya's got the best skill. Wow, nobody's really good at social. Uh Freya is the only one that's good at social here, and her character says she is uh just a jogger. Okay, I was gonna say one of these people is a psychopath, and I guess that's Welch probably. Welch is the psych the psychopath hippie uh herbalist here. Which is kind of interesting that he's a, both a psychopath and a hippie. But I guess it's not unheard of that it can happen. Let's um, make sure Chef cleans this up then too. Not that. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up that. Clean up that. Please. Oh, one other person. Please clean this up before we go to bed. I don't want to have to leave it. There we go. All right. So she just moved that to her bed, I think. She took it to bed with her. Yeah. She, uh, she just carried that with her to bed somehow. I don't know. It's not in her gear or anything like that. But um, we got another day done here. So we're going pretty well here. Another day in the books. Uh, we need meal source. Okay, we're still working on it. We'll, we'll work on that. We need next. I guess we'll need uh, power, and uh, we'll need uh, some food. I think so. Maybe that's where I'll call this episode. It's been a little bit of a long one because we had to introduce the characters and that kind of thing, and introduce the new uh, Alpha Six and all that. But I'll be back with more Alpha Six action here soon. I hope you're enjoying the series, and I'll see you back next time for more. Have a good night.